The original PlayStation VR introduced some of the best virtual reality titles we've seen so far, from the terrifying Resident Evil 7 all the way to the exceptional third-person platformer Astro Bot Rescue Mission. And from what it looks like, this trend is set to continue, with a multitude of exciting new games already announced for the PlayStation VR 2. The first of which is Horizon Call of the Mountain, a AAA title from Guerrilla Games set in the world of Horizon. However, this will be the first game in the franchise where you don't play as Aloy. She will still be in the game, just not as a playable character. We've got no idea when this new entry in the series is planning to release, but it will of course launch as a PlayStation exclusive. Another upcoming title releasing on the PlayStation VR 2 is Lo-Fi, an open-world cyberpunk RPG that gives you near-complete freedom to do whatever you want. You'll be able to step into the shoes of a futuristic police officer when Lo-Fi launches sometime this year. Boneworks is one of the most popular examples of games that couldn't launch on the original PlayStation VR because of its lack of modern motion controllers. They were simply too unreliable when it came to button mapping and of course tracking. However, with the introduction of the new PlayStation VR controllers, the lead developer is almost certain they'll be able to release the game on the PSVR 2. Half-Life Alyx is no doubt the biggest and arguably best VR title we've seen so far, and it seems like it could be coming to the PlayStation VR 2. Reportedly, Valve have indeed been in discussions over a possible PSVR 2 version, and their messaging over the years would certainly support that. With the upcoming release of the Switch versions of Portal 1 and 2, it definitely seems like Valve is interested in consoles once again. But keep in mind, these are just leaks, and the discussions might not even go anywhere, but it is an exciting prospect. Another game rumoured to be getting PSVR 2 support is Resident Evil Village, and it seems quite likely considering the success of VR support in 7. There were leaks of VR development before the game came out, but they could have been false or perhaps more likely the version was cancelled or postponed. Village in virtual reality definitely makes sense, and it might just happen. There aren't any leaks or rumours for this next title, but it does make a great deal of sense. We've already seen multiple Spider-Man VR experiences, neither of which have been anything substantial, but they do prove the potential of an actual fully-fledged Spider-Man VR title. As you know, Sony have the rights over the most recent Spider-Man video games, and they also have complete ownership of their developer, a company that does indeed have a lot of experience making VR games. So if any of Sony's franchises gets a virtual reality title, it's most likely going to be Spider-Man. There's certainly a lot to look forward to on the PlayStation VR 2, and I'm sure loads of exciting VR content is still up Sony's sleeve. Let me know in the comments which game you're most looking forward to, and maybe even subscribe while you're down there to keep up to date with the PlayStation VR 2 and all sorts of virtual reality news. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you all next time.